If you're just getting started with monday.com, then this tutorial is for you. Within the next 10 minutes, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know to get started, starting with how to set up an account to how to build boards and create automations all within 10 minutes. So join me in this quick start tutorial so you can get started with monday.com today. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. When you're first getting started with Monday.com, the first thing that you need to decide is which products you need, then which plans you need. So the first thing that I want to show you is that there are four different products. The first is work management. That's a focus on using, on doing tasks, projects, managing projects, and everything that's surrounding projects and tasks. The next is CRM. CRM is where you manage your customers. Doesn't matter if we're talking about a CRM to manage new leads, new deals, incoming potential clients, or current clients and customers, but you're managing the relationship with them. Monday Dev is a tool that helps development teams do their work to build an app, to build a product, to build a website, but it's within a development framework. And Monday Service, its newest product, is a platform within monday.com that you can manage ticketing. You can manage different service ticketing options that you need within your company. So the first thing to do is to pick a, a product that you need. Once you've picked a product, you need to choose the amount of seats that you need. Now you'll see that the pay plans start at three seats and then it goes in intervals of five. I do want to point out that you can see over here, if you sign up for an annual plan, you do save 18%. So it's worth it to check out the annual plan. As you can see here, there's a number of different plans within monday.com. I don't recommend anyone going below a pro plan or an enterprise plan. The reason is, is that if you're serious about your business and you want to gain valuable data-driven insights from monday.com, you have to have dashboards and you want to add a lot of automations. You can't do that on the lower plans. So I definitely recommend starting with pro or potentially enterprise. Again, depends on your situation. If you look at the link above, you'll see that there is a link to another video which goes into depth of all the different features within these different plants. So once you're ready to get started, you click on try for free and you do get a free trial. So here I'm going to start off by entering my email address. And here I just have to enter some information to get started, create a password. and hit continue. I'm gonna use this for work and I'm a business owner, continue. I have a team of 10 people and how many people are your company? And now we'll talk about what you want to manage and I'll talk about just managing operations. This basically is setting you up to build your first boards. I do a lot of YouTube videos, so we'll just choose that. And now what's happening, our boards are being created, our first boards, but we're going to go into exactly how this whole thing works. So you'll see here, I'm going to create my first board, a task board, and I'm going to choose what columns I want. Now I'm going to get into what this all is. This is just the first one showing us how to do it. Like it, it's actually a builder that builds it for us, but I'm going to get into it in a minute. Now you can see that monday.com created an account and I'm within the platform. The first thing that I want you to note is on the on the top right over here is my avatar. And here I can go to the administration section. And here I have all my information about different users, billings, all that different information that you would manage. You also want to note that there is a profile section. You can manage your time zone, you can manage your password and different notifications. Now let's jump into the guts of how Monday works. The 
Under products, which we already discussed, the basic framework is that there's different workspaces. So you can see here that I am working in a main workspace, okay? A workspace is like a big folder where everything is inside of it. And it's a way to divide different things. You can have it by department, different teams, and you just manage everything within your workspace. Now on the left side over here, you're gonna see as you start to build things out that you have different boards, forms, dashboards, Monday docs. You're gonna have a list of almost like a table of contents on the left side of everything that's inside your workspace. Now let's talk about what can be inside your workspace. The first thing is a board. And this is what we're looking at right here, a board. It's called the task board. There's three different kinds of boards. The first one is a main board where anyone in your company can see it. The second one is a shareable board where you can share it with guests. And the third one is a private board where you can share it with certain people within your company. The other thing that you can have is dashboards, which we're going to get into towards the end of this 10 minute tutorial. You can also have forms and Monday docs. So the main structure of Monday, we have workspaces and then we have boards. There are folders, by the way, to keep them organized, but we're going to talk about boards. Within the board, you have a different structure of groups. So here you can see we have two different groups. One of the things that I love so much about Monday is you can see how easy it is to customize this. I'm just going to change the name. I'm going to change the color. Super easy. Within each group, we have different items. And you can see here are the items. I have three tasks. And I also can further divide every all the information to have sub items, okay? So just going big picture for a minute. We have products. Within each product, we have workspaces. Within workspaces is our list of everything that's inside that workspace. We can have boards, we can have dashboards, we can have docs, we can have forms. We're working on a board. A board is broken up with different groups and within the groups are different items. And then we can also have sub items. Now, the structure of a board is that you have different columns giving you different type of data. So you can see here, we have three different kinds of columns. If I want, I can very easily add a column. There's a whole column center with all these cool different kinds of columns. If you look above in the link, there's a link to different kinds of cool columns and you can watch that video. Now up here, we have some information. We can change the board name. We can add different views. So for example, if I wanna add a chart view, I can simply add a view and it automatically pulls this chart. I can go edit the settings, change the charts however I want. I can add more widgets. These are called widgets. So let's say I'll add a battery widget. And this information is all based on my board, but I'm making a chart or a dashboard to pull in the information. Again, widgets is a longer topic than this 10 minutes that we have. So if you look at the link above, you'll see that there's a link to a video just on dashboards and widgets. Over here, you can see you have a search option. You can see that we have filtering. There's two kinds of filtering, an advanced filtering where I can say something like group is, I don't know, open tasks. I can save it to a new view. And you can see here, I've created a new view or I have a basic filter, um, a quick filter where I can just search what I want. I can hide columns, I can group the information in different ways. If I wanna add a new task, I simply add new task. Within a board, the best way to communicate is within the update section. So I can come here and I can mention to someone at Tara, you know, and write a whole comment about this. What do you think? and it will save it. And I'll have a running history of all the comments on this task. So I can keep everything in one place. I wanna jump into integrations. Integrations is when monday.com integrates with another tool. A lot of important integrations that people use all the time, Gmail, MailChimp, Google Drive, Outlook, Box, Dropbox, tons of different integrations. And you can automatically connect things. Like you can say, when this happens, send out an email but you're automatically connecting everything. Here we also have automations, which automatically, again, you have a trigger, something happens. So you can, let's just say, pick this. We can say when an item is created, then do an action, assign an owner. And we can see that things automatically happen based on your automation. So you wanna set up as many automations as you can because it's gonna automate everything on your board and save you tons of time. 
Over here in the top right is where you can invite other people to your board. If they have this little crown, it means they're the owner of your board. And here you have a whole bunch of different options. You can see an activity log, a board discussion, change the notifications, change permitting permission settings, different settings for the board. You also can export the board. You can save it as templates. There's tons of different things that you can do with these boards. So we have boards, we have dashboards, which I showed you a quick dashboard over here. We have all these options over here, the app marketplace, adding new people, notifications, I would check them out. Some other things here are Monday labs, different shortcuts. Basically, there's a lot here. I recommend watching our beginner tutorial, which goes more in depth. Again, there's a link above, but within 10 minutes, I think we gave the basics of how to get started with Monday.com. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.